Hello King's friends, I wanted to put together a few encouragements for persevering in building family life on Jesus during this time. There are so many verses in the Bible that call us to pers persevere and also to encourage one another. Hebrews 10 is one of those chapters. It's called a call to persevere. It says in verse 23, let us hold tightly uh, without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promises. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. It's been a long time, hasn't it, since we all sat together, um, encouraged one another in our homes or in the seats at church or the playground, playgroup, wherever we might normally find ourselves. And yet it's been possibly the most intense time of being a parent for many of us. And we've mostly had to do that alone. Every day my um, news app pops up with another bad news story and I've just felt the nudge from God to be a voice to encourage you with the unchanging good news and how that can have a great impact on our homes. While our homes are the place for everything right now, aren't they? From being a classroom to a canteen, from a PE classroom to a playground, often causing a bit of stress along the way. I want to encourage you that our homes are also places for cultivating the good news. And you may say, Marianne, my home feels far from a place of good news right now. I'm just waiting for this all to be over. And I get it, I'm not saying we should pretend that the difficult things aren't there. In fact, um, last week while we were juggling the usual homeschool and work, church and lectures, um, unfortunately two people were stabbed outside our house. And then a couple of days later, a family member of mine passed away from COVID. So I'm not saying that everything is good news. Were those things good news? No, but within those situations, the good news still stands. In fact, it's those hard places that can be the places where we find Jesus at work. During the time, during this time, the good news is as relevant as ever in our homes and it can make a difference every day. It's Christ in us. Does it mean I have to be enough? No, quite the opposite. Jesus is enough. So what does it look like to live out the good news in our messy, exhausted family lives? Well, I believe it looks like us as parents choosing to keep the main thing the main thing. You and me as parents leaning into the grace of Jesus. It looks like prayer. If we're able coming together as a family and placing things in the loving hands of the Father. It looks like seeking truth together. While there are so many situations and cultural conversations that are confusing and contradictory or look hopeless and bleak, you can seek truth in God. So I want to start with the first one today. Keeping the main thing the main thing. As Christians, as Christ followers, we have decided that Jesus is worth following, that we've decided he's worth everything. He's our treasure, he's our hope, he's our life. And that's not just true on a Sunday or during a life group or a family devotional. It's an everyday thing. It's woven in and out of everything that we do and we choose and we are. Um, I can remember as a little girl going downstairs in the morning and finding my mum reading her Bible and praying before she went to work and um, I knew that that was a precious time that I should respect and not interrupt unless it was an emergency and um, you might think that that would have left me feeling unloved but actually I reflected on it and thought I felt quite the opposite. I was secure in her love knowing that she was finding her strength and value in the right place. I saw my parents live out what they said they valued in the things that they did and what they spent their time on. And I believe that can be true for us today, that our kids will actually learn to value the things that we value. Not exclusively, of course, I'm not saying it's like a direct cause and effect. Our children's salvation, of course, is a work of Jesus alone, but we get to play a really important part in pointing them to him and confirming how worth it he is. I know it's hard at the moment to keep up motivation for everything and everything right now. Um, there's so many things to juggle, but what I want to share and encourage you with today is not meant to be an added extra. I just feel like it's the central thing that we need to build our lives on. And it can be very easy to put secondary things in first place. I know when I've done that, um, I end up feeling disappointed and disillusioned. But the good news of Jesus is that he is enough. 
and keeping him the head of our homes in the right place is the way for us to journey through these highs and lows and to have hope within it.